Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get all the color joggers in GTA 5 for your female character. And this is only going to work for female characters. It's not going to work for your male characters. So make sure you main a female character if you want to do this glitch. Also, we're going to be doing the transfer glitch, which means you lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. So I'm going to say that again. We're going to be doing the transfer glitch, which means you're going to lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Once you guys are ready to start the glitch, come to the clothing store, open up your interaction menu, go to your spawn location, and set it to last location. Once you've got that, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap character. So just go to online and just click on swap character. Once you guys get inside of here, you're going to go over to your second character and underneath your second character on the bottom right, it should say edit or delete. If it says delete, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters are going to walk in. And when you go over to your second character, it should say edit. Once it says edit on your second character, just go ahead and select that and your character is going to go into a little room. From here, if you get this alert, just go ahead and accept it. It doesn't really matter. Once you guys get loaded into this little room, if your second character end up being a female, make sure you change it into a male. If it ended up being a male, just leave it as a male. Go ahead and save and continue. Go ahead and make a random name for it, and then you're going to take the picture for it. Once you take the picture, just go ahead and hit accept, and it should load you into story mode. I mean into a new session, my bad. After you take the picture, it's going to go ahead and load you guys into a brand new session. Once you guys get loaded into your new session, just go ahead and hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to check to see if there's clothing stores inside your session. If you see clothing stores inside your session, just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. If you don't see any clothing stores inside your session, just go ahead and switch sessions, and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So I'm going to go ahead and see that one more time. Once you guys get loaded into your new session, you want to go ahead and open up your map. When you open up your map and you don't see any clothing stores, just go ahead and switch sessions or find a new session and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session but if you do see but if you do see clothing stores inside um, the session you got loaded into just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one i'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to the pond's boys clothing store because it's way easier to navigate when you're inside of it but it doesn't really matter which one you go to so now that we're at the clothing store we're just going to go ahead and start to make our outfits so the first one is going to be for the black joggers so first, come to the top section, go to tank tops, which should be right here. And make sure you got the black tank top on. It looks like we already got it on, so I'm just going to take off this sweater so it doesn't mess up the glitch. If your character spawned in with a sweater, make sure you take it off, or that might mess the glitch up. How do I take this sweater off? So I'm just going to go ahead and take the sweater off real quick. And make sure you have only the black tank top on so now i gotta go find it again so right here the black tank make sure you got that on once you got that i'm actually gonna go in passive mode real quick so it don't get killed so once you've got that come to the pants section you want to go to the shorts and buy the black leopard boxers so just go ahead and look for the black leopard boxers and these are going to be for the black joggers i think i may have went past it So right here, black leopard boxers, which are going to be for the black 
joggers. Once you got that, make your way over to the shoe section. And this is going to be for the checkerboard shoes. Make your way over to the shoes. Go to smart shoes, which should be right here. So just click on smart shoes. Go to the bottom and buy the gray slip-ons. So these right here. So once you've got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the cashier lady. And if you have any like chains on your character, just go ahead and make sure that you take them off. But once you guys have got the um, outfit that I just made, just go ahead and come save it. And it doesn't matter which slot you save it inside of. I'm just gonna go ahead and come save this real quick. I'm gonna name it, I'm just gonna name it Black Joggers so it's easier to follow along with it. So I'm just gonna name it Black Joggers. Once you've got that, now this one is gonna be for the Blue Joggers. So make your way over here to the pants section. Go to the shorts, which should be right here. And you're gonna buy the Black Heart Boxers. So come to the pants section, go to shorts and buy the Black Heart Boxers. So I'm just gonna look for that right now. Black Heart Boxers. So right here, the black heart boxers, and these are gonna be for blue joggers. Once you get that, just go ahead and come save it. So I'm just gonna name it blue joggers, so it's easier to follow if you guys are new to doing the transfer glitch. Now these next ones are gonna be for the gray joggers. Come to the pants again. You wanna go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the red heart boxers. So come to the pants section, go to the shorts, and buy the red heart boxers. So I'm just gonna look for them real quick. I think they should be to the top. Actually right here, red heart boxers. And once again, these are gonna be for the gray joggers. Just go ahead and buy that. Once you buy that, just go ahead and come save it again. Once you guys have got that saved, this next one is going to be for the green joggers. So come to the pants again, go to the shorts, and you're going to buy the white boxers. So for the green joggers, come to the shorts and buy the white boxers. So these right here, number 18, white boxers. Once you find it, just go ahead and buy it and just come save it, just like we've been doing. So I'm gonna name it Green, or just Green Joggers, I guess. These next ones are gonna be for the Orange Joggers. Come to the pants again, go to your shorts, and you're gonna buy the Black Boxers. So this right here, Black Boxer Shorts, just go ahead and buy that. And those are gonna be for the Orange Joggers. And once you buy it, obviously come save it. Once you got that, these next ones are gonna be for the pink joggers. So come to the pants again, go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the red leopard boxers. So come to the pants section, go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the red leopard boxers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for that right now. Red leopard oh, boxers. So, so right here, red leopard boxers. And once again, these are gonna be for the pink joggers. And once you got that, obviously come save it. Once you guys have got that, this next one is gonna be for the purple joggers. So come to the pants, go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the gray boxers. So right here, number 16, gray boxers, and these are gonna be for the purple joggers. And once you got that, just go ahead and come save it. Once you've got that, these next ones are gonna be for the red joggers. Come to the pants, go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the white heart boxers. I think they might be towards the top. Yeah, white heart boxers right here. White heart boxers, and these are gonna be for the 
red joggers. Once you've got that, these are going to be for the tan joggers. So come to the pants again, go to the shorts, and buy the purple striped boxers. So I'm going to go ahead and find that real quick. I think it might be towards the top. Yeah, purple striped boxers. These are going to be for the tan joggers. And now for the last ones, which are probably the best ones, the white joggers. You're gonna come to the pants, go to the shorts, and you're gonna buy the tan stripe boxer shorts. So these right here, tan stripe boxer shorts, and these are gonna be for the white joggers. All right, so once you guys have got that, just go ahead and wait for me right here on this screen. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly make two more outfits. These you don't have to make, but if you want to make them, just go ahead and follow what I'm doing. But you don't have to make these outfits that I'm about to make. This one is just going to be for, um, it's going to be for like the white Gorka joggers. You don't have to make it, but if you want to, you can. So this is going to be for the white Gorka joggers. And like I said, if you don't want to make it, don't make it. If you want to make it, you can, but it's up to you. And then this is going to be the last outfit I'm going to make. Alright, so this is going to be the last outfit that I'm going to be making. And like I said, if you guys don't feel like making these last two outfits, you didn't have to. All you guys had to do was um, wait here on the screen after you guys had saved your outfit. Alright, so that was the last outfit that I was making. So like I said earlier, if you guys didn't feel like making these last two outfits, you did not have to. All you guys had to do was just wait on this screen right here. Once you guys are ready to continue with the glitch, open up your interaction menu and you're going to take the easy way out. Oh, my menu glitched out. Just go ahead and take the easy way out. Once you guys get spawned outside, just hit your pause button, go to online, and you're just going to click on creator. Or go inside a creator, I guess. Once you guys get inside of here, you're going to click on create a race and then you want to click on land race. Once you guys get loaded in, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific, I'm just going to put in random stuff for it. Once you've got that, go ahead and click on photo, take a picture, it doesn't really matter. Once you got that, 
put the maximum players on two and set the root type on point to point. From there, just hit your pause button, open up your map, and you're gonna go to the airport and hit either A or X to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit either B or circle to go back, click on placement, click on place triggers. I'm gonna place it around here somewhere. Hit B or circle to go back again, click on lobby camera. Go ahead and take the lobby camera. And then back out of that, click on checkpoints. And from here, just go ahead and place one checkpoint right here. So hit either A or X to place it. And then you're gonna go place the last checkpoint all the way down at the bottom of the um, airstrip. So place it around like right somewhere, all the way down. Once you guys have got that, hit B or circle twice and you're gonna click on test and just go ahead and test it out. Once you guys complete the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you accept it and you get out this black screen, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and you're gonna go ahead and click on choose character. Once you guys get loaded inside of here, you wanna make sure you go over to your second character. So make sure your second character is holding up the little um, sign in his hands. Once you go over to your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. It's gonna ask you to confirm it. Just go ahead and tap in delete to confirm it. Once you delete your second character, two new characters will walk in like this right here. When these two new characters walk in, just hit either B or circle and it's gonna take you into single player. So when these two characters walk in, just hit B or circle and it's gonna take you into single player. Once you guys get loaded into single player, hit your pause button, you wanna to go to online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So once you guys get loaded into your online session from here, if you like the outfit that you had on before you did the glitch, go ahead and save it. I'm not gonna save this because I literally just did it over again. But once you guys get loaded inside your online session, if you like the outfit that you decided to keep, make sure you come up to this lady right here and come save the outfit that you decided to keep. So let's come up to her right here, go to save the outfits and make sure you save the outfit that you decided to keep if you um, care about it. But I'm not gonna save it because I just made this outfit again. So from here, when you when you save your outfit or when you load it online, as you can see, you're gonna have all the outfits that we just made. And your torso or your arms are not gonna stay invisible. So yeah, that's gonna be it. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you guys all the joggers right now. So black, blue, gray right here, green right here, orange right there, pink, purple, red, tan, and white. And these are the last two outfits that I made. So as you can see, all the joggers completely solo and it wasn't even that long. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on future GTA 5 videos. And also before the video ends, if you wanna like change the top on your outfit cause you don't like it, you can go ahead and do that and the joggers are still gonna stay. And if you wanna also change the shoes, you can also go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna 
just gonna find something real quick with these chains so let me just use this as an example real quick so as you can see you still get to keep your white joggers and you can also change the shoes if you want and the joggers are still gonna stay so customize the outfit however you want and when you're done just make sure you save it